We seem to have arrived at the end of the passage. Texca huset. Hmm. Oh, there's another passage. This city is full of oh. Episode. How do you do, Interwebbers? And welcome, welcome to Stories of My Life. So I'm here with my friend Magnus in his kitchen, and we're having breakfast in Malmo. And I'm going to see a show tonight that Magnus is in. This is way too much for the morning. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Magnus is hysterical. Yes. <laughs> what's the name of the show? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> for all your flow. Uh, what's the name of the? What's the? Um, Everybody's talking about Jamie. Today, Magnus has sort of organized a, a, a sort of detective thing we're going to get, do here in Malmö. He sent out for, a, oh, for this. So join us on a fantastic, what's it called? The City, Mys- the Mys- the city Mysterium. The City Mysterium. The City Mysterium. <laughs> yeah, say it mysteriously. Can you explain to the people what it is? Oh. Yes. We have to shut up Shitney. Yeah. <laughs> Shitley. Shitney. Shit Shitney. Whitney. <laughs> Shitney Houston. Uh, well, this is the it's the city mysterium and it is to solving the mystery the mystery. <laughs> the mystery of the shining movie star. Shining movie star. Oh yes. And and the thing is that uh, we sort of, we, they say in this paper, go to a certain place and then we're going to have some questions around, uh, about the city. So we're going to, we have to look at, at buildings or statues and, and get answers. And in the answer, they, if, and we, they have like a crossword like this. Ah. So here you put in the right the clues. answers. And then we, we will... Yeah, I thought actually that the, well, like the, the the solution would be like, oh, if you get everything right, it will be this will yeah. be the answer. But here, here's a finished, good work. Now you've now you've collected all your leads. Yeah. If you still doesn't know the answer or the question or the riddle, turn to to solve the mystery. So turn turn the page. Oh, so this so the on the back right is answer the... is on the back. Okay, so if I close my eyes now and I just film here. Show oh, me that, yeah. yeah. So people, see, this is the answer apparently, and you will know it. We won't. Yeah. But, but, but because of all the clues, we should should uh, guess who the mystery movie star is. And you have to sort of, if, every time you read, you have to sort of put something. Get so I don't can see the backside where, where oh, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the answer to, is. Yes, we have to. And this is all the questions. So this is all the places we have to go to. Uh, it's like 13 places of Malmö City. And there's a lot of celebrities, uh, uh, actors that have been growing up in, in, in Malmö. Amongst others are Eva Rydberg, which is a, like a, yeah, a very a comic. Yeah, she's person. like a Swedish Carol Burnett. Yeah. Uh, and we have Nils Popper, which is like... Uh, Charlie Chaplin? Yeah. Sort of. You're very good at that. Yes, I am. Anita Ekberg? Oh, uh, that Ma- people Ma- should know about. Yeah, you should know La about Dolce her. Vita. La Dolce Vita. Can you sing that song? La- I will live la dolce vita. I will live la dolce vita. And you sound like her. Okay. Oh, may I? Oh, hmm? This sounds really funny. Yes. <laughs> but is there a map or something? How do we know where to go? We, we need to know where, I think, the big square, Stor Torriot, oh. that's where we start. Oh, so it just says go there? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go into the shower and then we start the day. film. Yeah. Because this is, this is how we make our money. Showering fat men. Okay, people, so here we are. Two gay guys on the town. Two young, sproutly, de- delicate pe- people who have no trouble speaking are going with out Tony, with Tony. He's going to recycle. No, we're going to make gin and tonic. Oh, he's going to buy, yeah, gin and tonic. We're going to be drinking all day. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh my oh my parapsium there. He forgot his umbrella. Yeah. Well maybe you should go up and get it. Yeah. Okay people look at me, recycle Malmo. Yes, and it's uh, I'm gonna get wet quite quite fast. So this is how it goes. Magnus sort of forgot that he well he went up for something, I forgot what. Well, we came down, he went up to get something. What was it? I can't remember. Anyway, we started off and I realised, no, I forgot my gloves. So I went up and Magnus, before I went up, he said, no, yeah, bring my glasses because I forgot my glasses. So, and I went down, I went up and bought his glasses and my gloves. And then I come down and asked, do you have a pen? Because we have to fill out the form. And he said, yes, I do. It's upstairs. So now he's going up. But what was the first thing he forgot? Oh, the umbrella. Damn. And I forgot my memory. By the way, people, up there, uh, the, the, the window over the window that's sort of with the light on, the one with not, that, that's where I sleep. That's the kitchen. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. So here we are. Yes. So hopefully we can just stand here and just read everything and, and not having to. By the way, Kentucky Fried Chicken over there. And down there is that dense perfume shop that I need to visit. Oh, that's a fat man on a horse. Okay, people, so we decided that we can show you where we're going, but we're not going to give you the sort of any of the clues or questions because the company who, I mean, they live on the, for this. So if, if you can sort of, if we get it right, which we, which we won't, no. but we might, but we won't. If we... The only way we're getting it right is to guess right. Yeah. Not no right. No, 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 no right. And also read the read the answer on the back of the envelope. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, we're not going to tell you what the, the, the leads are. No. Uh, so or... the first question is... No. <laughs> <laughs> but we might, we might sort of... We, not the question, but the answer are uh, our, our guesses. Our guesses. Because uh, they wouldn't... Yeah. Yeah. Not telling you anything, but we're going to look... Take a closer look at this fat little guy on a horse. People, this is one of the Swedish king, Gustav den Tionde. The tenth. Gustav the tenth. You can look at that. There's a, there's a G and an X somewhere in this muddled Significa? No. Signi sing Not Gustav the Tionde. Karl den Tionde. C. Oh, there's Carl, a C. Karl den Tionde Gustav. Yes. Carl This is the face of a man who lost it. Because we don't have 10 Gustavos. We have only like Gustav III, Gustav IV. We don't have any more Gu Gustavos. So it must be Carl... Oh, Carl, Carl and T and the Gustav. Carl and T on the Gustav. So this is Carl and T and the Gustav. I knew it all along. I was just kidding. And he's quite fat. And I'm not fat shaming him. He is... I can say it because I am fat. So... Go to the website and see if he's there. Yes. He should. I'm going here. Remember yesterday when I arrived on the train there and going by this store? I'm just going here to show Magnus Jens because we also found this store in Helsingborg yesterday. Now Magnus is standing here to get out of the rain and looking for clues. We think we got it. What? Yep. I asked the... Did you accidentally say the clue? Yeah, but, it, but we don't know if it's true. No, you, we might be wrong. Last clue was there. Now, next clue is in the facade here. I'm not telling you anymore, but we, we locked our bikes because first we're going to check out this really nifty apothecary or drugstore. Oh, this is... Oh, oh I passed that. And then we're going to go in here. Look at that. Look at that, people. So, I don't think we need to get go. Well, maybe. Oh God, look at that. It's positively Dickensian. Yep. Exactly my thoughts. <laughs> we were in the, the oldest apothecary in Tallinn once, and it sort of looked like this. But it wasn't as 
But I wonder if this has been... This could also have been a bank. Like an old bank or something. Yes. Or maybe it's always been a... No. Oh, yes, for my vagina. Yes. It itches. ceiling. Well, since 1898, this has been the place to go when you're feeling down and low. So look at all those shelves. I need them. I want them. Look at that. All those old bottles. Look at that strange man in the mirror. I'm looking at a strange man in the mirror. Now we're going into the lion passage. Oh, he looks. He looks happy. This is really weird because, look, there's a sort of pavement there. So possibly it's sort of, oh, maybe people would, if you got on bikes, or, yeah, people are, yeah, people are biking here. But I mean, you can't actually walk. Well, you can, and people were much smaller in the olden days, so maybe you stood here and then that's whatever was, was. Look at this. Now we're talking. This looks really interesting. Some sort of restaurant, but possibly not open. And that is what I call a well-stocked bar. It just goes on and on. And then, oh, and then it goes on. Steve Trav arrived at the end of the passage. Texca Huset. Hmm. Oh, there's another passage. This city is full of, oh. Beautiful. Oh, oh, yes, that's your turn. So I think we've been in there somehow, in my dreams. But and here's the thrift shop. And an enormous Santa, and we are going to Lopez Lounge Flea Market. Oh, look at this place. Look at this place, people. It's like another world that I'm not part of no more. Oh, or never was. But it's even a disco bulb. So you walk through that passage and then you come out here. Look at that. This does not look Swedish at all. This looks Londonian or Danish. This man looks like something out of Dickens. <gasps> it's like a horseshoe. Yes, he tried to show me something. And of course, now we have to go through Lopez Lounge and just, you know, because we have to because, oh, and there's even a little theatre, Theatre 23. Look at this lovely little house, where the house is Theatre 23, Theatre 23, well you got that. And this house there, and in here. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.